We are going to make alfalfa and sweet beet pellet compost. Kind of sounds tasty. Mm, yummy. I started by adding a two inch layer of straw on top of my soil. Now I got this tub here because we're going to mix the alfalfa pellets and the sweet beet pellets to get them wet and get them ready to put into the compost. Now I lied about using alfalfa pellets. I used cubes instead. I wanted to save the dollar because the cubes are less expensive than the pellets. But this is where my pain began. I started adding a couple gallons of water so the cubes could soak it in. This way, it's a lot easier for it to break down and compost. I quickly realized I had way too many alfalfa cubes in there and these cubes don't work the same as the pellets. The pellets typically will absorb the water uh, much easier and it's a lot easier to break down. Whereas these cubes, you can see they're like super dry inside and they have to be able to be separated and get the water through it all. I'm kind of doing this the hard way and we're gonna continue from there. Yes, I was chopping the cubes with an ax. This is because the cubes were still so dry inside. I thought it was best to just smash them open. I do this so the water can get in there and loosen it up. This was not the best option, but it was working. It was at this point that I realized the cubes just have to soak. This made the project take longer than I anticipated. You know, this did not go as planned. The alfalfa cubes kind of take a while to soak in everything. And some of them are still pretty dry inside. No, but check it out. It's actually starting to break down pretty well. And that's what we want. It is a little wet up top. See, that's a little bit too much water, but I'm hoping that it will soak in. I wasn't keeping exact track of how much water I was using for the alfalfa cubes because I had to keep adding more in for them to soak up. But I would say it was about six gallons of water in total for about 40 pounds of alfalfa cubes. So after hacking away for a full night, I eventually started to see progress and the alfalfa cubes to break down. This was a good sign for things to come. Stay tuned for part two.